In this segment, I want to go ahead and talk about ghosting. There are often times during the development of a model where you want to use the value of a primitive someplace quite a bit removed from where the primitive was initially created. And drawing a, a connection, a flow or a link from where that primitive is to the place that you want to use it would unduly complicate the, the view of the model itself. What Insight Maker provides is a feature called ghosting, so that if you if you select a primitive and right click on it or or click on the on no on the on the primitives menu, but down here it says ghost primitive, it simply creates a disembodied spirit, a duplicate of that primitive. Notice that it's it's dimmed from the original, which you can take and move any place you want to, and it's essentially a copy of that primitive. If you o open it, you will get the same formulas that you found if you open the original. You can connect to links to it and use and modify the, the formula in it the same way that you would for any other primitive or that primitive in its original location it's just it you can then go ahead and put it someplace else in the model and use it as opposed to having to draw a connection from where it was initially put in the model to where you want to use it in this particular model this converter called eat head which is the amount of food eaten per individual in, in this particular model was needed as input for for this flow for food and drawing a line a link from here all the way down around and over to here would have just made the diagram a little bit more messy than than I wanted it to in the same way that that this population stock needed to be used as an input to this population function and drawing a connection from there all the way around and over into this variable I thought would have made the diagram more messy than I really wanted it to be. So use ghosting. Use it uh, to the extent that you need it. I will offer you that um, I'm rather sorry to put this model in the course because this is one of those extremely poor models that I spoke about before because it's absolutely undocumented. Um, I probably built this one five years ago and I don't have a clue as to what the particular variables are anymore and there are absolutely no notes on it whatsoever. It runs and I mean it does, I guess it does what it's supposed to and it has multiple um, displays though it's sort of beyond me what all of the variables mean. And I expect that it was extremely meaningful to me at the time that I built it. But at the moment, I'm sort of clueless as to what it actually represents. So I offer you, offer this model to you as a extremely good bad example of how to develop a model because I have no clue. <laughs> hope you hope you found this interesting from maybe from multiple perspectives. So take care. See you in the next segment. Bye.